Okay, I'm going to give you a tiny detail that's going to make a big difference. If you're tired of getting crushed to the bottom of half guard or butterfly half or getting a body lock pass, this little detail in your frame is going to make a huge difference. So I've been training jiu-jitsu for a long time. I think um, actually the last century. I think it's the last millennium, 1999. That's officially of the prior millennium. So that's a long time. And I just recently learned to appreciate this tiny detail. I think I found it on a Gordon Ryan instructional. He's got great instructionals, of course. But this little detail is going to make a big difference for you. You're going to want to learn it also because you can do it immediately. It's going to take very little training, very little practice. I'm going to show you what, what I mean. I'm going to be in the bottom of half guard here. And, of course... We want to create a frame. We all know, oh, I'll come under his jawline to create a frame. But look at Alex's face. He's relatively calm, right? So now watch what happens when I creep my fingers out just a few inches. You can see on his face what a difference this frame is making. And this is going to help me recover so much better than when I don't have it. So what's going on there? Why does that little bit of a difference of moving my fingers make a difference? Because I'm taking my wrist out of the, the equation. Your wrists are very complicated joints. It's actually made up of like sort of, I think it's nine little bones. And they're, it's made so you can move your hand in all these different directions. It's not made to be a good frame. So when I take the wrist out of the frame, I have this strong L shape. So it's just two bones creating the frame. And usually my elbow ends up... When I creep out to the shoulder here, right underneath his throat. So he cannot drive into this. It's painful for him. And I can create space and get my knee in there. And I, and I can recover my guard. And I can be in a much stronger position. So I use this, the bottom of half guard. Maybe butterfly half, butterfly guard if I need to get him off my chest. I don't use it for side control. I'll tell you in a moment what to do for side control. But if you found value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what to do from side control, there's a card that shows another video on the screen. Click that card, watch that other video, and you'll be all set. Thanks very much.